Our guest in this segment is the first ever female president of the Jamaica Federation of Musicians Union, JFM. She is the widely celebrated songbird, Karen Smith. Right now, right here on our stage, Karen. Winford. How are you? I'm happy Congratulations. to be here with you. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here with you. Oh, good. Good before. to have this you. Is nice. Thank you. Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> so, how were you appointed? Well, it's really a passing of the baton. Mm -hmm. And what is, it, what is important is that the industry needs structure and formalization. Mm -hmm. So, Desi passed the baton to me. Mm -hmm. So, we re-registered re the union because of over time, over a period, it had become kind of dormant in a manner of speaking. Okay. So what it needs now is a resurgence of, of all the things that are important to serve the industry. And in terms of mentoring the young folks who are coming in, because we have union members like Beris Hammond and Freddie McGregor and Dean Fraser and Slide Dunbar and all of those people, if we can get them together to have workshops for the young people coming in, okay. that is so important. So, and also, too, mm -hmm. the relationship that we would have with the various ministries, the hotel association, what is it that we can do to serve them and how can they serve us? Can we get some structure? What is it that you expect us to do mm -hmm. and what, uh, what do we expect of you in return? What, what are we being paid at the moment? Is it fair? No, okay. <laughs> yes. but if you as one little voice crying out in the wilderness, it's very difficult to get things to change and things to move. The JFM has been around since 1958 mm -hmm. and there are gains that were made. You don't walk around the back gate. Mm -hmm. there, there, there is a particular amount of, of money that people are paid to work on New Year's Eve uh, on the coast. Um, all of those things yes, are protected. We have insurance. And, and we have foreign, insurance. foreign artists coming to Jamaica ha having to have a Whether Jamaican on the bill, right? Yes. On the same uh, bill. See? How you that's, know that? That's, exactly. That's compulsory. That if you bring Beyonce yes. to Jamaica, she has to have a Jamaican opening. She has to opening. have a Jamaican opening. Those yes. are some of the things Those that the union Those are the and yes. things like in the, in the hotel industry, you don't have to change under the coconut tree. You must be provided with adequate, an adequate area. All, all these gains that mm -hmm. have fallen away because of the lack of representation. The, the touring musicians know this, that there, are, there is structure, there is there's formalization in the industry abroad. You can't just jump up and say you're going on somebody's stage. We are here because we know that there are benefits to the entire industry that we believe that we can give. One of which I, I, I would like you to mention and to just yes. say something about is when uh, artists pass and, they, uh, and there's not enough money to bury them. So Isn't that points, one of the responsibilities of the JFM? Yes. If you're a member? So if you are a member and really the, the dues for the dues are $10,000 and all of my union insiders who I know per annum and the, and the $10,000 per annum also covers an insurance policy an insurance policy at the moment only has a death benefit but i'm just coming to do your interview from a, a seminar put on by the ministry of culture gender entertainment and sport and we're talking to the creative industries there about the importance of finance estate planning and investment okay they were talking about nis there is an nis benefit for all of us but if you don't pay into the system there is no benefit for you the minister also has plans to include us there is a insurance policy for the sporting part of our ministry at the moment, but she wants to expand that. Also as well, we have a, a new rate now of $5,000 for people who are interested who are in a tertiary institution, okay? okay? So whether or not you're studying music or whatever, but you have an ID that says you're currently registered at a tertiary institution and that, and that, um, that subscription for you would only be $5,000 without the insurance, unfortunately, but membership, membership, membership. I'm so looking forward to the part about the mentorship and getting those people who are industry insiders and know it. I mean people like Copeland Forbes and people who have been in it, upcoming people who have been in it, Bounty. On another note, huh? the, the live performance, the live Jamaican jazz yes. event coming up. Yes. You, you're 
headlining that, aren't you? I am head. I'm headlining it. A lot of people think it is my event, oh. but I want to say MC Drama. It's um, it's going to have live streaming, mm -hmm. MusicView.com, a, a pay per view event, and it's their inaugural event. It's going to be held tomorrow, mm -hmm. and it's at 80 Constant Spring Road, mm -hmm. which was a former weekends. Okay. So it's now Damore. Mm -hmm. So we start at, um, I guess, by 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. We mm -hmm. start. But we, I'm looking forward to it. I'm working with Desi Jones. Oh, beautiful. And Desi there's a charge Jones. for people to get in. And, and there's a charge. It's $1,500. A VIP, if you, if you wait until too late to get the tickets, it's going to be $2,000 at the gate. And um, at the VIP charge is three thousand dollars you know. thank you so much Karen. oh i'm glad for the opportunity uh, and thank you so uh, much Winford. Great, and so this is a wonderful time. program thank you appreciate please it please keep on doing what you're doing it's tough but we're, we're trying yeah can't we're give trying up. can't give up all right there you have her in this segment karen smith the newly appointed president of the jfm